Shout out to Jessica. The whole reason this video is, I'm pushing to get this video up on Sunday, is because of this text message right here. So, here girl, I'm trying. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's a Kiri Pryor Truth on LiveUnited.com. What's going on? So, I know you're like, what are you doing? Where you at? So, I'm in my bathroom right now because I need to clean my shoes. Because, um, you remember when you was a kid and you wanted your all white shoes to be like super white or like the bottom? See, mine, mine ain't, mine ain't that right now. So, just taking this day, I got off work a little early. Just taking this day to clean my shoes and clean the laces and just, you know, be, you know, you know. So, but I do want to talk a little bit today about just something, some, some, something. I'm going to try to keep this one short just because I got like a million things to do. And I'm trying to keep two birds on stone. But, yeah, I just, I want to talk to you guys. The church, well, yeah, I'll say in general, the church. So I'm talking about church in general today and how I feel like we are dropping the ball when it comes to speaking on trans people, like just the LGBTQIA, I feel like we're dropping the ball a little bit. And let me explain. So I actually didn't know this until I had to go to work that it's Pride Month, June is Pride Month. With that being said, I understand that for some people it's, it's a dead stop, right? Like. They could care less about that. If you believe in Jesus and you believe in the cross and you believe in all that good stuff, you're like, girl, I don't care. But this is my thing. So because of my job, I had to go to um, Pride. Like um, in Cleveland, we had a Pride parade and all that stuff. And I had to go for work because my job takes me on such things. I travel all over. And I'm walking around or I'm walk people are walking by me, I guess I should say. And... I see so many people, so many brown, black and brown people. And as they're coming over to the table and talking to me, I just keep saying like, you know, have fun and be safe. Have fun and be safe. Have fun and be safe. And on the way home, like I kept thinking like, or I started to think like, I don't know why, like why I was led to say like, cause I never say that to anyone else. Like at my job, I never, I never feel led to say be safe like I'll say have fun but I never say be safe and it made me think about because how I saw on YouTube I think it was that there are so many people specifically it was about black trans women but um there are just so many people coming up missing or being murdered um there are just so many people being murdered and it's very little news coverage about it um now don't get me wrong like as a black person we're kind of used to that right like or when it is shown shown in a very specific way like oh yeah this person got killed by the police but here's their mugshot from like 74 and all this craziness right but it's, i think it's messed up that the same energy we have for black men being murdered by the police which i find interesting because black women also get murdered by police hello sandra bland and we don't have a i mean sandra bland maybe is not the best example because we did have energy for her but there are a lot of other people there are women who are also being murdered who we just aren't acknowledging and we acknowledge people who are in the lgbt community even less if we if we are called to be light in this world then we have to do a better job of spreading that light to everyone. And that includes acknowledging, that includes loving on, that includes correcting, that includes that includes having empathy for people who don't always look like us, who don't always act like us, who don't always move like us. And I feel like, and I feel like the black church, only because that's the type of church I go to, I feel like we dropped the ball on that and, I, and don't get it like historically speaking like i understand you know some of y'all would rather your kids be dead or a rapist to be than be gay which all right if that's how you live your life y'all wonder why 
Y'all wonder why suicide rates are so high among children, black children in particular. Then you look at how they were treated. We have to do a better job of standing up for everybody, not just the people who love and move the same way we do. You know, I, I talked about this before. I'm a Christian, but I'm also black. And I want everybody to be free. I want everybody to be free. And freedom includes you being here long enough to know what freedom is. So I don't want you, I don't want gay or whatever you are. I don't want those people, those children taking themselves out because your kid is acting, your kid is being crazy and calling them all these things and they're saying it because they're Christians. I don't want trans people or gay people or lesbians or anybody else getting beat and murdered and raped and molested all these other things si simply off the fact that they're that that's crazy we have to do a better job of calling out the bs when we see it when we hear it we got to do a better job period we have to do a better job and if you can't get past the fact that somebody is gay enough to help them to want to see their humanity there's something wrong with you and I really need you to think about and just show me the Bible verses on the Bible you read it where God says forget the fact that they're gay like I don't care about them and their lives don't matter just, just show me that part there are too many assignments out here for ones to be getting lost just because they're gay and for us and as someone who says they love Christ and truly tries to be about that loving Jesus life I can't just stand by and just be like, oh, well, oh, well, well, they, they didn't believe in Jesus. Or, and the funny thing is, from what I've read, a lot of gay people, or I'm speaking specifically about gay people because that's, I believe, the article I read about, a lot of gay people struggle with the fact that they believe in God, but are also gay. You know, it's not just, it's not simple as, oh, well, I believe in God, so I don't like women anymore. I'm not gay no more. I am delivered. I don't like men no more. I said I like women. Women, 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 women. I said women. I will. I will love a woman. Now, li listen. I mean, I would think that has to be a process and there are some people who feel like well regardless of the fact that i'm being a guy still loves me and i'm gonna do what i want to do and again the same energy y'all have for gay folk i need y'all to have that same energy for the man who's going through the women in y'all church i need y'all to have the same energy for the, the man who is eating everything in sight i need you to have the same energy for the man who maybe isn't sleeping with everybody in church but his eye the way he look at women he might as well be doing it like i just need y'all to have the same energy for everybody who you perceive as a sinner because i mean if we keep it in a book we all we all got stuff and i feel like it's real easy to point out somebody else's stuff when it's when it's obvious right like it's real easy to call out the pregnant girl but y'all ignore the dude who got her pregnant but that's another story for another video because Y'all know how I be. But anyway, so all that to say, we, let like me say as a church, we have to do better about calling out all the injustices that we see. And that includes the ones against trans people, regardless of where they are in life, regardless of how you feel about what they doing, regardless, 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 regardless. Because at the end of the day, that person is somebody that God created. And if we really want to see God creations be free, then we, they have to be here in order for us to tell them that, right? They have to be here in order for us to spread the gospel to them. So that's just my little two cents. I'm sure people got thoughts and feelings and all of that. And that's fine. You know, go ahead and sh share them below. Good, bad, and indifferent. Like it, dislike it. Hey, I'm, whatever you want to do, I'm good. Um, but I just all I ask is that you be respectful. Don't say nothing crazy. Be respectful. And, um... Thank you for listening. Make sure you are checking out the website, truthandloveunited.com. And um, like I always say, as long as you're running your race at God's pace, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. Bye.